frustrated probably isn't the word, Gary. Story of the season so far, you know, keeping and putting in great performances and not getting our just rewards for the performance levels that we're, we're showing. Um, again, I thought we'd come down to a really difficult place today against a team that's flying um, up at the top of the league for a reason. And again, I think anybody watching the game wouldn't have, wouldn't have knew who the who the team at the top of the league was and who the team was sitting in eighth was. Um, I thought we put on a really good, solid performance, deservedly took the lead. Um, and I thought, you know, they've, they've, we've had chances which they're always going to get their top side. And unfortunately for us, they failed to rank Curran, who's who's a man on form, and and for me, been one of one of the best strikers in the league the last year and a half, two years. You know, um, two great finishes, but you know. We kept going after that. We cut out a penalty with Peter. Um, I was speaking at BBC there, and, and they're, they're saying it's a stone wall. At the time, we thought it was a stone wall as well, but I went in and spoke to the referee and assistant. It's not the referee's fault. He didn't make any of the two decisions today. Um, the, the assistant referees told me that Peter was in the box on the ball and he's fouled one of their players. Now, for me, anybody in the box on the ball and dribbling with the ball isn't going to foul their other player because he's on in control of the ball. Um, and at the time, I thought when they gave a free kick against, I thought he was blown for a free kick for diving, um, but that wasn't the case. Um, the case was that he fouled one of their players while he was dribbling. Um, so it's one of them ones again. We're we're under. Uh, we can't control that, unfortunately. Um, and the, unfortunately, at the minute, the things that are costing us is, is things that we can't control. We, we can only go out and put in a performance, create chances, win tackles, win headers. You know, when it comes to the, the nitty gritty, um, you come down to big places like this. It, Teams that are at the top of the league, you need you need um, the referee and the assistant referees to make the right decisions. And to be fair to Keith today, he didn't make any of the two decisions. Um, the other one with with Danny, Danny's on side when he knocks the ball back. Um, staff goes to control it. He said staff was offside, yet staff was in behind it. And then their player scores a goal. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Uh, it's it's beyond me now. Last year we had this issue. This year's. A recurrent, recurrent theme this year again, and it's just so frustrating for me because you know I can't ask any more the the players. I'm sure the fans and the, the board and the directors are watching themselves their own two eyes. They can't be can't be saying we we can't give any more um, because we're we're, we're giving everything that we've got, um, and I feel gutted for them. They're gutted in there, you know. A big big performance again today, and and literally the, we didn't get what our, our just rewards us, and you know we're coming again away with nothing. You lost a man as well, and the whole. Yeah, for a frag at the end yeah and again if the right decisions made that doesn't happen number one I spoke to Keith on it Keith assured me that he didn't swear or use any foul and abusive language so um, but he said that he ran from too far a distance and you know got too close to him and, and you know was aggressive you know but for me you know we've just had a goal chalked off um, and the boys uh, hated the most the heat of the moment and the emotion of the game and the adrenaline and you know of course people's going to run and, and question the decision but you know if Matthew had called him a cheat or you know obviously cursed at him or swore at him in a, a derogatory way then then yeah fair enough you know he deserves his red card but you know for for Keith to give me his explanation that's what his explanation was and I accept that um, but I think it's a very harsh red card and, and somebody's going to be missing games of football for that you know if that's the case we have to do it every week in the league because it happens all the time. It's not a, it's not a, as if that was a one-off situation. People run from distance all the time in this league and, and, and I've never seen a red card for that in my life before. Um, again, if it's a letter of law, fair enough, I'll accept that. But if it's a letter of law, then then, then let's make sure it's, it's it's done in every game in the league. In terms of the game itself, Gary, I thought for 80 minutes, it looks as if we were going to win that. Yeah, we were solid. We played really well. Um, but again... Wasn't to be. Um, I'm sick of saying it. And, and, and by the way, I'm by, that, by saying that, I'm not. I'm not putting any blame on my players. I'm not whatsoever. You know, they've had two good chances and scored two goals. The top finish the second one. The second one was a top goal. Um, but for us, we created a few other chances. Um, and again, we've had a, a goal disallowed, and we've had a penalty penalty kick turned away, which is is unbelievable. Um, the goal as well before half or just after the start of the second half. You know. Must give you a real boost. Yeah, again, we're, we we work on the pressing game and we've pressed and, and we've forced the goalkeeper in the mistake and he's and he's took it as well. It was a hard, you know, it wasn't an easy finish and he's took it really well. And again, I thought we'd done well. Probably the only little thing I thought, and I said to the players in there, um, that we maybe done in the second half, in around that 
seventy fifth minute onwards, we started sitting a little bit deeper, you know. But then again, they they had three on three strikers at that time, and O'Neill had ran Karn up through the middle, they'd obviously Joe through the middle, so you know maybe you know that that was a, a factor in that. But you know, again, we keep going, keep going, and we get an equalising goal that's chalked off. And as I say, we should have had a penalty as well. It was I was turned away, and you know you're coming down at Liverpool, and you know, if the goal stands, it's two each, and if you score your penalty kick, you could be coming away with three two. But unfortunately, we're not. You'll take hard anyway, Gary, from the performance itself going into next week's game against Palomino. As I've said, Michael, every every game this year, bar the Carrick game, every single game I've took hard from him. And, you know, the boys are definitely not getting any luck whatsoever. And people say I'm harping on and moaning on about luck, but it's fact. You know, we, you see the performance that we put in, you know, you know, Cliff and Will, I'm sure Paddy will admit that they didn't deserve to win the game, but they went away with three points today. We've deserved something from the game and we've come away with nothing. And that was the same in the Glen Torn game, the same in the Lauren game, you know. It's just the it's just the way it's been. But you know, I keep sending them in the teams room. You have to try and pick them up because they're sitting there with their heads in their hands and you know, you have to keep picking them up and keep sending keep putting in performances like that. It has to change at some stage. It's not as if we're playing bad every week and, you know, getting them results. We're playing well and we're we're, we're competing and, and probably seeing it in most of the games that that we've got nothing from and at some stage in life, you know, if you keep doing that your luck has to change. You can't keep having bad luck.